What's your opinion on headlamps getting too close to them? I think it's not good. <laughs> I agree, but you don't want to let them gain too much ground on you either. So. I know. Yeah, catch 22. I thought if maybe we, while this wind is kind of coming down drainage, if we parallel up here at least keep up with him because he's going to probably start just rolling out. Yeah. About now. Okay. At least once it gets light, we'll be somewhat close away from this road. Just run to the party. Screw this guy. Yeah. I'm game. He if sounds I, bigger. If I can't call one of these satellites in, I'm hanging it up. <laughs> There's about 14 little satellite bulls out there. Take us to the herd bull, Jason. Go ahead. Just bring us right to him. <laughs> we'll just run that way. Put down fairly long. Different. That was another that's that's the ball behind us, isn't it? Hey. I'd like to see him too. He sounds pretty good. <laughs> that guy almost sounds like he's on the ridge top now. He's like right there, yeah. Does he sound like a ball that you can just call right in? Somewhere right here he went over. Hopefully when we get to the pass we can pick him back up. Yeah. We picked him back up.
bugles this morning. So they were pretty quiet last night. We're walking back in here where we were at yesterday morning chasing bugles. And it's just kind of a ghost town, no bugles. I don't know <clears throat> if they're not bugling or if, they're, if they've just moved off or something. Uh, but anyway, we just kind of been walking in silence this morning, listening to bugles. I've bugled twice to try to locate nothing, no reply. So we're gonna keep on heading up here. There's a lot of country up here. They may not be hearing us or we may not be hearing them. So anyway, we're gonna just keep on walking up the trail here and try to figure it out. Uh, I will say today's the first morning I would actually call it semi-cold. My hands are cold this morning. It's a little colder than yesterday. Last night it was super warm hiking out here. We were sweating, it was probably 75 degrees. But anyway, this cooler temperature may prove to be helpful later on. Um, hopefully, hopefully it will. So we're just gonna keep on trucking and see if we can find some bugles this morning. in it here for the day and see what happens maybe maybe we'll get a bull come in in the middle of the day it's been hot so as hot as it's been I'm gonna probably want to use that blind use that wallow here this afternoon so um, stay tuned for me and my underwear paddling around that mud hole <laughs> probably not anyway we're gonna we're gonna dig in here for the day and set I think Dusty's got the good spot. He's got some shade, but I'm out here in the open, so. But, hey, this is hunting. This is elk hunting. It's not always comfortable. It's not always easy, but it's always fun. So let's dig in. I think I might get in my snack bag and get my snacks all laid out before I get too carried away here. That way I can easily access them without making noise. I hope I have enough. It's gonna be a long day. Watch out for scorpions, Dusty. Okay. 
All right, well, we've set here from nine o'clock. It's now 2.50, it's almost three o'clock. We're sitting here and heard a side-by-side -side pull up. A dude walks over here. He's on an outfitted hunt. He was gonna kill a little bit of time and sit here for a little bit. Um, but he said, well, since you guys are here, well, I'll move on, which was nice of him. Um, unfortunately, he was telling about, you know, what he'd kind of seen the last couple of days and they've been running a side by side all up and down this hillside. So, and then they went off in the direction. I thought that we might have a chance to turn up a bowl tonight. So I think we're going to pop smoke on this place, go back to camp grab the razor and head out to another spot that we've hunted before. And the cool thing is we suffered through 80 degree weather all day out here in the blazing sun with no shade. And we get to start walking now in a rainstorm. So <laughs> if it wasn't for bad luck, we'd have no luck at all. You just gotta laugh or you'd be pissed off. Uh, <laughs> uh, the best is yet to come. The best is yet to come. These are old rubs. These things are probably almost a month old. The bark's all dried. See all the sap. It's probably where they shed their velvet, maybe. Um, yeah, all the limbs are dried up and dead, covered in pine needles from the big rain they had. So these are these rubs are about a month old, but we did see some big bulls in here just yesterday. So um, no cows. With all this pressure, I wonder if those bulls will just pop out of here. Kind of the north and west of us here, there's a big canyon that a lot of elk tend to filter through. From our past experience, we only found one bull that bugled there the first night. We were up here, um, so maybe those elk will kind of move over that direction since there's so much pressure down here from all these outfitters and stuff. So anyway, we're going to head on back to the truck. It's like there's a good spread between his sword and his. Yeah, a lot of yeah, a lot of distance. Mm -hmm. Hey, he's got like eight inch tops. Well, we um, we've been watching this ball for most of the morning. He was bedded down. He's got one cow. He's on this far ridge. Couldn't really decide if we were gonna make a play on him, but we're getting a little bored on this hunk of rock we're on right now, so. I figure we're gonna go play with him, see if we can't get him tight and see how good he is. He looks pretty decent. But we just got a little rain squall come through. And uh, I don't think it's gonna last long, but it's been nice and overcast. These bulls just aren't talking. They're pretty quiet today. I mean, we can, Jason can pitch a call and they can look back. We can see him look back and they're just not talking. 
this storm rolls over, this little cloud will boogie up to that ridge and see what we can find. See if he's bigger than we think he is. That was fun. It's not your style, is it? <laughs> no, it was better than sitting there getting rained on. We yeah. walked over here and got rained on. Yeah. Good little exercise. It was fun. Then we got to climb a few hundred feet of elevation. <clears throat> Put a 30 minute stock on a bull that wasn't there. I think he just got up and started. Yeah. He just fed away. Yeah, there was no, no stomp marks out of there. You just could see where he was bedded. He's in a great spot to get here, but it's about that time to get up and start moving. So yeah, we're gonna try to beat feet back down towards the towards the side by side where we've had a bull going every night. But this time we're gonna try to be there a little bit earlier. But I think we're about on the same pace to be there at the same. Third same time's time. charm. That bull's we played with him twice. It's third time he should uh, cooperate. Hopefully. All right. There's a hot cow around. Yeah. It wouldn't matter. Yeah, we saw a bull like 250 yards from us. Go, just walk away from us. I'll make a sound. Yeah, sure. Three, after, bulls. Three bulls didn't make a sound. After 7 a.m., that's the only bull we heard one more time, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, nothing the rest of the day. Well, With nothing to play here, get back to the side by side a little early. I guess we eat good tonight. Extra meal. Extra food, extra water. Hopefully Dark found something.
All right, well, we came back to camp, loaded up the Razor with um, all of our gear, headed out to the spot and got halfway up there and realized I didn't remember my bugle tube. <laughs> Uh, I mean, really? That's the second time I forgot my bugle tube on this trip. Must be slipping. Anyway, um, so we turned around, come back, and then the torrential rains began. And we pulled over and let it rain for a little bit. And then it cleared off and we drove part way back again and had to pull over again for the rains. Let it rain for a bit and then got back to camp and said, you know what, instead of going out and getting wet tonight, um, I think we'll just kind of get cut up on some chores so we've been transferring memory cards and stuff putting it on the hard drive and uh, got some spaghetti cooking for dinner and uh, anyway we're gonna hit her hard in the morning we're all ready to go we just gotta get a little sleepy sleep tonight and uh, do it again tomorrow so good night thanks for watching